Hello, welcome to Paul and Lynn's Isle of Man Tour 2016 photo slideshow. Okay, so we're uh, we're on board <coughs> Ben McCree at Hesham. It's uh, an overnight uh, crossing, and uh, we were going to get in into Douglas fairly early, and we're here now. Just arrived at uh, Douglas Sea Terminal. That's the big uh, ramp just been lowered. There's Lynn checking in at um, in Douglas. Now we found this McDonald's just not far from the uh, Sea Terminal. Not really keen on McDonald's, but we needed something to eat and a drink, and uh, we couldn't really get into the apartment till till after 10 o'clock and this is around about six o'clock i think it were that's looking down on port erin same we just sort of tootled about a bit really waiting to um waiting to get to get into the apartment that's uh the bike taken from where I took those last two photographs fully loaded up as you can see and there we are outside uh, Timwold 2 on Church Road in Port Erin there's Lynn lucky to get there dry to, uh, this year it was um, a bit damp last year now that's Port Erin Beach with the uh, the lighthouse just off picture there is a cozy nook cafe there's Bratherhead with Milner's Tower that's the Irish Sea lovely beach I remember all the days in the 70s when that beach was absolutely packed solid with holiday makers on a nice day but that was in the heyday of holidays right we're in the apartment nice kitchen everything we needed really comfortable recommend uh, Margaret's um, apartment I'll put uh, details in the description <clears throat> that's the lounge and that's the uh, the hallway through to the bedroom and the bathroom the shower nice comfy bed yeah just just nice bathroom nice walk-in shower we were uh, we were ready for a shower because ours was broken at home There's Lynn making some lunch. I think we're having soup. We had uh, cream of asparagus soup. Baxter's. There we are. Very, very tasty with some uh, some bread rolls. Well, not bread rolls. It was like this special bread, but it was a bit tough, really. A bit, um, bit heavy. There's uh, Phoenix park where Sylvia was in 2015 there's yours truly this is uh, Sunday we're having Sunday lunch at the station uh, pub on station road in Port Erin nice glass of wine cheers Lynn it's not always nice to get a photograph of, of the two of you and uh, and we were we were very lucky to get that done. It's a nice bar area. Really nice, lovely roast uh, roast beef Yorkshire pudding. I had, and uh, that's what Lynn had. Yeah, that's mine. Cauliflower cheese and veg. Oh, lovely. Really sumptuous. That's Lynn's pudding. Hello, 
or dessert if you prefer. Right, this is um, Port Erin Station, that's Hutchinson. I've actually got a, a model of that now. Lynn were very kind in, and sent sent me it in the post. I was really chuffed. That's Port Erin Beach. Lovely clear water. Beautiful. There's a lighthouse in the distance there. That's uh, Milner's Tower in the low cloud. It was a bit damp that day, a little bit of drizzle in the air. And that's Lynn. I'm just trying to think where that is. I can't remember. There's uh, Phoenix again, parked where Sylvia was. That's our parking space on the promenade at Douglas, across from Jack's Hotel. I think it's a hotel. Yeah, that that's specifically for motorcycles. That space there's, there's a few of them along the promenade, so they really do cater for for motorcyclists at at non TT times. Nice garden on the, on the front on the promenade at uh, Douglas. Really nice, really well kept. I'm really taken with the architecture, as I'm sure you are. Um, magnificent buildings. I mean, a lot of them are apartments now. Uh, but in the heyday, they were just hotels, just bursting at the seams with holidaymakers. That's a horse-drawn horse tram. Now, they've been given a two-year stay of execution. Not, not the horses, I hasten to add. The tram service, so hopefully they'll uh, they'll they'll keep it. So now that's at Balacrega, um restaurant near Laxey or in Laxey, near Laxey Wheel. We we, uh, we there we are. That's the Balacrega. Really, really, really tasty. Nice, uh, quite high class restaurant there. Don't know why we got two pictures. Sorry about that. Duplication. It's a couple of duplications. And there we go. That's uh, Lady Isabella. Laxy. Don't know who he is. Must be the uh, the BBC. <laughs> There's Laxy. The Lady Isabella. Marvellous. As we were told on the mining trail, um, she turned from 19, 1854 to 1929, 24-7. The only times that she stopped during that time was five times when the, the actual river froze, which is very, very rare because of the gold stream. But yeah, five times in all that time. Amazing. I'm trying to think where that is. I think, oh, I think I know. I think I think it's where we went up that de dead end road near near Magold. I think I think it's where we uh, where we had to turn the bike round. We couldn't get down anymore. Yeah, I'm almost certain that's that that's that day when we went to Magold. There we are. That's in Ramsey. Nice new uh, car park, a motorcycle park. They've they've done all that since last year. And there were the, some of the beers that were on in the pub that we uh, drank in or drank outside of. There we are. Made it really nice. It's a busy road. It just just in front of it, you might see it on other photographs. There we are. Yeah. It's a really really busy road. Um, constant traffic coming along it. It's the only thing that spoils it really. It doesn't look busy but um, trust me a lot of uh, vehicles lorries as well. So we're back in uh, Church Church Road looking outside of Timwall 2 and this now is the 26th of July. We're ordering kippers. Lynn's ordering kippers to send home. We sent some to Peter to some to um, Neil and Angela 
and some to Lynn herself, but they were delayed. Now this is at, uh, that was her meal at Peel. This is at the Sound. Near the Calf of Man. Now unfortunately that day the, uh, the visitor centre was, was closed. Due to unforeseen circumstances. You can just see it at the back there. Where that red sign is. Um, yes. Sad that. Uh, yeah, there we are. Beautiful view outside the uh, from the windows inside. It must be marvellous on a wet day to be able to go in there and look at the view. We're watching seals. I think this is one or two photographs that Lynn took. Beautiful area. Really, really peaceful. It's a lovely uh, wildlife reserve. And that's that famous cross that we put our helmets on last year to replicate 1985's uh, holiday. Didn't need to do any of that this year, as I say, we did it all last year. And this year was really more of a relaxing holiday, really. I mean, last year was good, I mean, by golly, but with so much to do in two weeks, you know. I do hope you've enjoyed the, uh, if you've watched the videos um, before this slideshow, I do hope you've enjoyed the videos. Um, I've kept them as brief as possible and try to uh, to avoid any um, repeats from last year. Uh, some I've kept on because I've got a GoPro camera now and we're on a different bike. There, there we are, that's the seal. There, oh, there's the seal, I should say, popping his head out of the water. So yeah, we're on a different bike now. We're on a brand new FJR um, Phoenix. So, as I say, I think I've, I think I've balanced it just right. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I mean, I want, I want feedback anyway. It's great to get feedback. Thumbs up. Always give us a thumbs up, even if you can't comment just give us a thumbs up that's how youtube works and i uh, really do appreciate that thank you so we're still at the uh <coughs> excuse me still at the sound Back on Church Road, Timwall 2, looking towards the sea there. Someone asked if that was something like California with the palm tree. <clears throat> it could well have been. There's Hutchinson. Now this day is transport day. We're off to Douglas on the steam train. Oh, the smell of uh, of a steam engine you can't you can't beat it now here we are we've arrived at uh, Derby Castle in Douglas and um, we've just got we've just had a, a ride on a horse-drawn tram again on video so take a look and we're waiting to get on the Manx electric railway to uh, take us to Laxey and then from Laxey to Ramsey. <clears throat> we weren't doing um, Snaefell this year. We were very lucky last year with the weather. We weren't going to push a lot and we hadn't done uh, Laxey to Ramsey. So naturally we did Laxey to Ramsey. And there we go, that's uh, Lynn's um, scampi. It's Lynn in Ramsey. <clears throat> Two guys making uh, playing at chess. 
You may have seen these photographs on the video. I have included some of them, um, but I thought a video, or, you know, like a video on its own, um, will be great. I mean, look at that building, as I said on before. Amazing. Amazing. There's uh, Murag Park, the boating lake in Ramsey. These are all uh, Murag Park. Just got some water, just uh, got a frog in my throat. Try and stop me coughing. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit smaller than uh, a normal pillar box. at the uh, at Derby Castle again some of these aren't in order but <clears throat> right there's 28 this is uh, this is the airport Ronald's Way Airport it's called and that's just outside we've gone for a little bit of a potter that evening Mango Hill now if you pause the video on there I'm sure you'll be able to read that it was a, a scene of um, executions. Uh, Lynn was reading it out to me, and I had the uh, the Scala headset on, so I was listening to it. But I'm sure if you pause it, you'll be able to read it. What a bike! What a beautiful bike! Now that's looking down from Marine Drive near Port Sodrick. Yeah, that's on Marine Drive. Marine Drive is is blocked now from you know from that way and from the Douglas end, <coughs> unfortunately due to uh, uns unsafe um, rocks. Really shame if if they could open that again, it would be uh, would be wonderful to have that that view to look at when you're riding along it the nearest we have to that is in this country well in Wales is uh, Marine Drive in Llandudno. It's uh, that's really uh, really nice again there is a video for it <coughs> Back at our parking spot in Douglas. Making a habit to this. <laughs> That's the lounge again at Timwall 2. Same again. Duplicate, sorry about that. There we are. Attempt as a selfie with the Samsung camera. I like that one. TT Day, 29th. That's the TT uh, grandstand area. There you go. Well famous. Again, there's a there's a couple of videos of it. There's one with um, picture in picture and one that's. Uh, it's just got an occasional uh, shot of Lynn riding behind us. Amazing, amazing to think, you know, it really is an honour to ride that road. Now that is in Cregney Bar. We thought we'd call in and try their, uh, their food 
and there's the bar area that's me at the bar and it was nice it was very nice that's Phoenix outside Craigner bar world famous uh, Ben there there we go Great. Uh, Cumberland sausage, egg and chips and beans, and it was yummy. And they had fish and chips and mushy peas with tartar sauce. I think that's tartar sauce. Again, that's the bar area again. Some of these are taken by Lynn and some are taken by myself, so that's why you're getting doubles. Now this is looking down towards Solby Reservoir. Uh, I think it's the A14 that takes you from the TT course at the Mountain Railway Crossing down to Solby. Um, I just had to stop and take some photographs. It were amazing, the the stunning views. It really was. As you can see, very pretty. And as we were taking these photographs, just further up, you don't. Well, Lynn took a picture of uh, some of them. There were some sheep on the road and there was a car that came flying by well two cars i should say they were they were clearly having a race <clears throat> two young uh, idiots and um oh they won't stand a chance or sheep if they hit them absolutely so thoughtless but typical i'm afraid of uh, young men in cars shouldn't stereotype but I'm afraid uh, in a lot of cases it's true isn't it can't see enough of that bite especially a backdrop like that one, uh, one channel you need to check out is Richie Vida he is superb Just this is um, point of air right at the north west tip of the island you can actually see the scottish coast um 30 odd miles away on a clear day <clears throat> yeah richie vida you want to check him out because he has a vfr 800 and it's a 2003 and as he says many many times on these videos he loves that bike and anyone who has a motorbike or has had a motorbike knows exactly what he means by that and for quite a while i felt very very envious of that um, because we loved our previous fjr and why the hell we changed well we did so we're back in ramsey now we did change so as i said fortunately it's it's like a dream come true we've gone we've got back on an fjr and she is going nowhere this is the 30th this is home day this is outside tim wall 2 as you can see fully loaded tank bag panniers top box stuff on top of the top box wonderful she handled like a dream would you believe that we actually were loaded up like that in scotland when we actually went riding with Kevin and Leslie and all that video is yet to come so you're in for a treat now this is at the sea terminal that's the lemon squeezer behind the old famous lemon squeezer and that's on board Ben McCree we got we got in the same seats going back as we were going so we're so lucky and we're lovely comfy seats as well because it's a four hour sailing there we are and that's it thanks very very much for watching please comment like and subscribe see you next time bye for now